Hi, welcome to today's session of Yossam. I'm just going to quickly check on what we're going to be talking about and then I'll kick the session off. All right, we're talking about how to keep a track of your sales funnel. All right, let's start it again. Hi guys, welcome to today's session of Yossam. Okay, and I apologize if I keep saying guys, I also mean guys and girls. I know we have a, a mixed audience out there. So, you know, it's just a matter of habit, right? I probably should change that. Anyway, so let's move on. Today we're going to be talking about how to track your sales funnel. One of the most core things to do for was, as far as salespeople are concerned is to make sure your sales funnel is looking like a nail and not like a cylinder. Most people love to have a lot of leads in their funnel and go, wow, this is really great. I love the fact that I've got 100 leads. That means there's potential work coming out. Well, you know what? Sometimes you can have the guy who's got 20 leads compared to 100 leads. And he's making more money, closing more sales because he knows where he needs to be and how he needs to hone in on what is, what's going on. So tracking your sales leads is very important. So one way is make sure that you've got a CRM. If you or your organization has one, please use it. It's the most powerful tool you can use. So what is a CRM? It's a customer relationship management system. It will track conversations you've had with your clients, where they're at in the buying process, what samples you've sent out, if you send samples out or, or any correspondence or anything like that. So that way you become so much more effectively prepared when, you con when you're conversing with the client as well. The other way is also to make sure on a weekly basis of where every client or lead is at. And if they're not, if they're not going anywhere, Follow them up to get them out of the funnel. No point in wasting your time with having 80 people that aren't going to buy. Spend time with the 20 that are, and they're going to give you way more money, way more profitability, and you're going to get hit commissions. So, a couple of things. One, find out that you've got a CRM in place, and if you do, please use it. If you don't, find a way to get one. You can even use simple Excel spreadsheets to be able to collect data of all the leads that you've got coming through. Two, revisit the funnel all the time, weekly if anything. Sometimes if you're in long lead sales cycles, you may want to go longer than that. But I would suggest really going out for a weekly. Uh, make sure that you're checking in weekly with your sales funnel and seeing where every client is. Because there's no point in having clients in the system that are, uh, that are just wasting your time. And three, have engagement around that. See where they're in the, what, what stage you're in the process and maybe what questions you can ask to move them along. Sometimes the person's not really buying now, but they're buying later. So there's no point in actually following them up every week. Give them a month and then, you know, I always use this as a rule of thumb. If somebody says, look, call me back in a month, I call them back in three weeks. All right. So there's a couple of added points. Guys, have a great week. Sell hard and we'll chat with you next week. Take care.